Hello YouTube, making sourdough buns with our easy, no need bread dough. If you've watched any of the artisan uh, sourdough recipes online, you'll see it's a lot of work. So we're going to cut some corners and use our no need easy bread dough and we're going to add some sourdough to it. This technique is used a lot when they use what's called a hybrid where they use yeast and sourdough mixed together. We've got about half of our dough and we're going to add our sourdough to it. This is our culture. I did feed it this morning and we're going to be adding two-thirds of a cup of our sourdough starter to our bread dough. And what we're going to do is we're just going to incorporate it into the dough in more of a folding and pinching type method. We're just going to mix it in the best way we can. We're going to actually put it on the board, flour down board here in a little bit, and we're going to uh, fold it in several times, but right now I want to mix as much as I can by stretching and pulling on the dough and try to get a little bit of it incorporated in before we go down and start adding more flour. It is going to make it pretty wet, so we're going to put a pretty good bit of flour down on the board so and uh, it's going to require some flour to be able to work with it um, it's not hard uh, starting sourdough is really easy there's some great videos out on youtube if you need some assistance with that uh, send me a note in the comments and i'll be glad to help you with that if y'all need a video on starting your own sourdough i can do that for you also using my little sifter two cup uh, sifter and like I said I'm flowering down pretty heavy first I took my dough scoop or dough scraper they call it and I tried to start folding it with it but I realized it was easier with my hands plus I'm trying to hold the camera at the same time so you guys can see what's going on we're just doing more of a a fold and a tuck after we fold it a little bit this is no need so we're just basically trying to get the sourdough incorporated into it as you can see it doesn't even work with it but a minute or so we're going to add a little more flour to it because we're fixing to cut it into six equal portions we're going to make six nice size large sourdough buns the uh, Sourdough is going to give it a nice tangy flavor. Uh, this would be great with a big, nice, juicy homemade hamburger. Maybe add some mushrooms to the top of it. Pepper jack cheese or uh, some Swiss cheese, something like that. What we're going to do is we're going to form each one of these equal portions into balls. You can do it like how I'm doing it here or take it in your hand and just form it into a ball. These are bigger than a golf ball, probably the size of a golf ball and a half. Uh, when I do have a hamburger bun pan, but I want to show you that you do not need a hamburger pan to make hamburger buns. These are 13 inch strips of tin foil. There's your, your tin foil, 14 inches. Fold it down to it's about an inch. Take a stapler, staple it together where it's at the 13 inch mark. You're gonna overlap it an inch. We're going to let these rise for a couple of hours and then bake them in the oven at 350. These tin foil strips, like I said, are about an inch, inch and a quarter. I'm spraying them with some cooking spray just to make sure they don't stick. And it also keeps your bread from drying out. Sourdough is not something you want to rush the rising process with. We're going to let these guys sit for two to two and a half hours. As you can see, they turned out pretty nice. They do have that sourdough when it bakes up just has a different look where it browns. And on the bottom of these guys, you can tell it's sourdough because it's got what I call spotting. <coughs> Excuse me. Brown nice on the bottom. They're going to taste fantastic. The hamburger bun pans will kind of brown like a little ring around the bottom about oh maybe a third of an inch in. 
But like I said, I'm going to show you all you don't need hammer and pan. See how nice these are crowned up? These would even be great. Um, I'll split them in half and I'll toast them. Then we go to eat them. They were still hot, but I went ahead and cut it anyway. Um, look how light and airy this bun is. But at the same time, it's got a nice um, crisp texture to the outside of the bun. If you have any questions, you know, be sure to ask us in the comments. The recipe for this bread dough is in our the previous video that uh, is called a no need best ever bread dough. And it's a multi-use dough. I'm doing a series of videos showing you what all you can do with it. So far we've made cinnamon bread. Uh, we've made uh, slider buns. I've already made pizza with it. I've even made dumplings with it. I've made cinnamon rolls with it. Uh, that's going to be some of the other videos that will be coming up. We're going to do cinnamon rolls next. Or possibly even dumplings. So you can even make dumplings out of this dough. It's just nice to have something you can make up. Stick in the refrigerator and use it when you need it. I'm the Pressured Prepper. If you haven't joined our channel, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button and click the notifications bell so you get notified as any new videos come out. Uh, we will have some more videos coming up. If you need help with the sourdough, uh, send me a, a note and I'll do a quick video and show you all how to work and get a sourdough started. You you have know someone that makes sourdough, ask them for a culture. You get some from them. If not, you can start your own and be going in about seven to eight days. Hope you had a great day. This is the Pressure Prepper. And I'm out.